Hi, this is Dr. Mercola, and today I want to share some really exciting information about one of the best ways to reduce excessive oxidative stress in your body. Why is that important? Because excessive oxidative stress is going to produce too many free radicals, which can be vitally important signaling molecules like nitric oxide, but when you get too many of them from eating a poor diet or being exposed to toxins, they're going to cause some harm. You see, these excess free radicals can damage your precious stem cells, your mitochondria, your cell membranes, proteins, and DNA, and all this can lead to disease and premature death. Now, the Japanese have discovered a novel approach to address this with the most common molecule in the universe, molecular hydrogen gas. Now, they've done most of the research and in 2007 published a landmark study in the most prestigious journal, Nature Medicine, that catalyzed a mountain of science on the clinical use of molecular hydrogen gas to reduce excessive oxidative stress. Now, because molecular hydrogen is the smallest molecule in the universe, it can easily penetrate every tissue in your body, including your brain and important cellular parts like your mitochondria and your nucleus, where it can reduce excessive oxidative stress. Now, although the precise way in which molecular hydrogen does its metabolic magic has yet to be conclusively uh, proven, we believe that one of the ways is that it activates the important NRF2 pathway that signals your body and your DNA specifically to create additional important antioxidants. This, we believe, is really the ultimate way to create antioxidants, producing them only when you need it, as molecular hydrogen only tells your body to make these additional antioxidants when there's excessive oxidative stress. This way, your body doesn't create these powerful antioxidant molecules when they aren't needed, which can cause complications by suppressing these beneficial, biologically important free radicals, which are signaling molecules. So, what the research has shown is that rather than drinking low concentration molecular hydrogen all day long, like many hydrogen devices do, or even tablets, it is far, far better to pulse or cycle high concentration molecular hydrogen once or twice a day. Now, sadly, there's a large number of devices and products out there that simply are unable to create high concentrations of molecular hydrogen gas. But after many years of researching this, I finally found a pioneer who has developed a very convenient tablet that does indeed create a high concentration molecular hydrogen gas that I've been using for quite some time. Most hydrogen tablets and devices create hydrogen concentrations of only one to two parts per million. And these tablets have to be used in a closed container. They simply will not create any hydrogen gas. Now, the tablet I found creates far higher concentrations of up to eight parts per million, or literally four to eight times higher with, with these tablets. And the best part is, it does it in a very convenient open container without the need for a cap or a lid. And it does this by using a proprietary clinically validated process, creating a cloud of hydrogen nanobubbles. Now, all you have to do to create this nanobubble cloud of molecular hydrogen gas is to simply drop one of our H2 molecular hydrogen tablets into a 16 ounce glass of water. Here's the key though. You want to make sure it dissolves completely in the water. You don't want to swallow this tablet and drink the water. You want to let it dissolve first in the water. Now, if the water you're using is at room temperature, you're going to create this molecular hydrogen water in about 90 seconds at a concentration of about, about eight parts per million. Now, it's important to drink the entire glass of water as soon as the tablet dissolves. Otherwise, the molecular hydrogen is simply going to escape into the air. So to make sure you do this, I suggest setting a timer for 90 seconds to remind yourself to check the water. Now, the time that that 90 second time is going to be totally dependent on the temperature of your water. So it might be shorter, it might be longer, but 90 seconds is a good starting point. Now, if you fail to use a timer, there's a good chance 
five or 10 minutes are gonna elapse, and by that time you remember and all the hydrogen gas is gonna be gone and you're not gonna get the benefits. So it's also important to realize that if you use cold water, which is fine, the tablet's gonna take two to five times longer to dissolve. So again, you're gonna to have to adjust your timer to make sure you take it at the right time. So another benefit that our H2 molecular hydrogen has is that it uses a special grade of magnesium as its carrier and provides you with about 80 milligrams of magnesium, which is a truly meaningful dose. Now this is important as nearly everyone is deficient in magnesium. So in summary, to say that I am really excited about the potential that molecular hydrogen offers for your health is a very serious understatement. I am convinced beyond a shadow of a doubt, it is one of the most important tools you could possibly use to reduce excess oxidative stress and free radicals and help you take control of your health. Thank <laughs> you.